Hello students, in this part I am going to explain you about the water and its importance in life. Water. Water is a colorless, tasteless substance that covers about 70% of the earth's surface. About 97% of the earth's water is salty water that is in oceans. About 3% water, earth water is fresh water. Two third of the earth for a fresh water is frozen at the north and the south poles. The other one third may be found in lakes, river, stream or underground. Some water evaporates from the oceans and other large bodies of water. So what is the importance of water? What is its necessary for life on earth? The human body contains about 65% water. Plants include food crops depend on water for growth. So next is water is important for industries. Its main function is for cooling. Water is also used for cleaning in air conditioning. Next is water is an important source of power. Devices in a hydroelectric uh, electric power plant convert the energy of flowing water into electricity. Next is Water is an important uh, source of erosion. Water carries soil to the part of the river called the mouth to form a delta. Next is water is used by people for transportation. Before the invention of the aeroplane, the only way to cross oceans was in ships. So most of the trade with the overseas countries is still done through shipping. Next is Factors that is responsible for the water scarcity or shortage of water. First is growing population. Most of our cities are facing this problem due to overpopulation. Large population means more water not only for domestic use but also to produce more food. Number second reason is there that is called the uh, that is uh, commercialization of agriculture. After the success of green revolution, our farmers are producing commercial crops. Number third is variation in seasonal and annual precipitation. Precipitation is the main source of water in India, but arrival and departure of monsoon in India is uh, not definite and uncertain. So next is industrialization and urbanization. The post-independent India a proof that intensive industrialization and urbanization. Today, large industrial houses are common in the form of industrial units of many multinational corporations. The ever-increasing number of industries has made matters worse by exerting pressure on freshwater resources. Next is overutilization and misutilization of water. There are many states in India which have overutilized its water resources like Punjab and Haryana. Next is pollution. Pollution of water resources is another factor which is responsible for water shortage. Domestic waste and industrial waste are the main factor responsible for contaminated of the water. How to conserve the water? So uh, water can be also be saved by making checking dams. Next is rainwater harvesting technique should be used. Maximum water is used for irrigation crops. Over irrigation needs to be avoided. Next is sprinkles are very effective and efficient tools of irrigation. Next is in dry regions where the evaporation rate is very high, drip or trickle irrigation is very useful. In industries, recycled water may be used for cooling purposes. So, uh, in domestic use, uh, that is water may be used for cooling purposes and in domestic use, wastage of water should be checked. Waste water of kitchen may be used for gardens. Every individual needs to economize uh, water use. In many parts of India, water is brought for daily use from long distances. It is going to be a problem in other parts as well sooner or later. We do not learn to conserve and save, make the best use of water available to us. So uh, for the next generation, the water will not be available. So save water. Next 
topic is there that is natural vegetation natural vegetation refers to a plant community which has grown naturally without human help natural vegetation and wildlife exist only in the narrow zone of contact between the lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere where the life exists that is called biosphere so vegetation and wildlife are valuable resources vegetation or natural vegetation supports very critical functions in the biosphere vegetation also controls the flow of many bio geothermal cycles vegetation is also critically important to the world economy vegetation serves as wildlife habitat and the energy source for the vast animal species on the planet vegetation strongly affect soil characteristics including soil volume chemi- chemis- uh, chemistry and texture next topic is there in this sorry that is distribution of natural vegetation the growth of vegetation depends on temperature of moisture the major vegetation types of the world are grouped as forest grasslands scrubs tundra forests are found in area of heavy rainfall as the amount of moisture decreases the size of trees and their den- density reduces in the regions of uh, moderate rainfall short trees and grasses are found next is called that is evergreen and deciduous forest forests are broadly classified as evergreen and deciduous depending on when they shed their leaves evergreen forests do not shed their leaves in any season of the year deciduous forests shed their leaves in a particular season to conserve loss of moisture through transpiration so next topic is conservation of natural uh, conservation of wildlife so nat- natural wildlife uh, is the wealth of our planet both plants and animals together they maintain the ecosystem which is very important for our survival both natural vegetation and wildlife is under threat due to natural as well as man made factors many species have become endangered and some are on the extinction deforestation soil erosion mining industrialization constructional activities forest fire tsunami and landslides are some of the human made and natural factors which together make the process of extinction of these great natural resources hunting illegal hunting fishing trapping or eating of wild animals animal is another factor responsible for extinction of many animals so we should protect and secure them due to indiscriminate killing several birds and animals have either become extinct or are of the extinction uh, some animals like uh, the tiger lion elephant deer black buck crocodile rhinoceros snow leopard ostrich and peacock there is balance in the environment if the relative number of species is not disturbed so what uh, what should we do to protect them first awareness programs like social forestry joint forest management and one mahotsav should be encouraged at the regional and community level second is strict laws to check poaching should be formulated so we can protect the wildlife and the natural vegetation so this was the chapter thank you and have a nice day